Why he did it to me? I don't deserve it. Why? I didn't want to know why. A long road to recovery, but with lots of progress already. Tonight we're hearing from the Kansas City, Kansas woman who was stabbed while walking home from a volunteer job in mid-July. I'm Lauren Halifax. And I'm John Holt. That attack left 46-year-old Stephanie Perez, who lives with a condition that affects her muscle movements and speech, with cuts to her neck, shoulder, and hands. She tells Fox 4 Shannon Russo she feels grateful to be alive, and Shannon joins us now live from KCK Police Headquarters with more of her story. Shannon. And John, this has been an incredibly difficult six weeks for Stephanie Perez. She tells us she knows she had a guardian angel watching over her that day, protecting her from death. But now, six weeks after that attack, she's still dealing with the after effects like recurring nightmares. Surrounded by those closest to her, 46 year old Stephanie Perez is finally sharing her story about what happened more than a month ago on July 18th. I was walking home and they, some guy uh, came behind me. An affidavit says that guy, 32 year old John McGriff, had a six inch long knife which she used to stab Stephanie just before noon. At the time, Stephanie was walking home from volunteering at the local food pantry. He was standing over me and he kept on stabbing me. I was like, thank you. Oh my God, I'm going to do I'm not going to, to make it. I'm going to, to die. It. The scars to her neck show the severity of that attack. Stephanie still struggles to use her left hand, which she used to defend herself. My Connie Angel yeah, gave me the strength to yeah, buy and kick him and stuff like that. And I had seen all that blood on the ground and it scared me. It was like a nightmare. Laura Viegas is Stephanie's mom. She remembers seeing a man approach Stephanie with a knife. By the time she ran outside, Stephanie was in an ambulance. I'm so glad that she's alive because we could have lost her. We got a second chance with her. Grateful to be alive. Stephanie says she's so happy for the support and love she's received. But now she's left wondering why her? That's something she hopes her accused attacker will answer one day. In the meantime, she's focused on the road ahead, which hopefully includes some face time with her favorite NFL player. If I have a chance, I want me, I want to go to the chicken, chicken <laughs> and me, Chelsea, Kelsey. Hopefully you come through, Travis, for her. She deserves it. And the man accused of stabbing Stephanie had a competency hearing just yesterday to determine if he will stand trial. So right now the case is suspended pending that outcome. But as we stand right now, that man is charged in Stephanie's case with aggravated battery. Also, John, we should note that man accused of stabbing Stephanie is also accused of stabbing his father to death that same day. And in that case, he is charged with second degree murder.